Hey friends, today we're going to be making our jellyfish. So this is a two day project and on our first day all we need is this paper plate here and some paint. We're going to be painting the plate. This is going to be our jellyfish body. So when it dries we're going to be folding it like this and this will be the body part of our jellyfish and then we'll be hanging your string and your ribbon um, on the next day but now we're gonna pick and you're gonna pick any color you want because jellyfish are all different kinds of colors so you can pick your favorite colors I picked some blue and some green a little bit of white now I know my plate is already white but when I mix it with green and blue, it's going to turn to a lighter green and a lighter blue when I mix it with the white. So for your paint, you can either use a paintbrush or your child can use their hands if they really love to finger paint. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a sponge, which is also what we'll be using for our fish painting project, but I really love these sponge paintings so that's what I'm going to use but you can pick if you want to use a brush you can or if you want to paint with your hands whatever your favorite way of painting is but we're going to try and paint this whole plate here oh I love the way that my blue and white and green are mixing all together isn't that cool now I am doing this on top of a tray that I can just wipe clean afterwards so I'm not too worried about if my paint gets off a little bit. That's okay. But I do want to try and paint the whole thing. Alright, so I've painted my whole plate. Now you can see from the wetness of the paint and me pressing the sponge down, it got a little bit squished and wrinkled and wobbly. But that's okay, I'm not going to worry about that um, because we'll be able to pop that back out tomorrow when it dries. So I'm just going to leave this in a safe place, let it dry, and then we'll come back tomorrow and see what's next. So now that my plate is dry, it's the next day, the next part is going to be to fold it over like this and then you're going to need a hole punch. And if you don't have a hole punch at home, you can just poke some little holes in here with um, a sharp pencil, but I will show you with a hole punch. So um, what we're going to do with these holes is put the ribbons and strings that I included through the holes. And your child can help you with this hole punching part. For really young friends, they may need a little help squeezing, getting it all the way through. But I've got, that should be enough holes there. I might even have a few extra, that's okay. If you wanna actually count out and see how many um, strings you have, you can do that. So once I've punched all of the holes, then we're simply going to take one piece at a time and thread it through. And if you want, you can um, have it even or maybe leave one side a little shorter, one a little longer. Pinch it down a little bit. So you just want to help your child so that they don't end up pulling it all the way through. We're gonna get these on first and then we'll tape in the middle and then we can play around with them a little bit more. Okay, so I've put all of my ribbons in and then so that they don't get pulled out, we're gonna open this up and then I'm gonna run a piece of tape right down the middle. And this will add a little bit of bulk to the end of your jellyfish too, which is fun. Fold it back over, and now that they're taped, we can kind of pull them down a little bit more, straighten them out a little bit, like that. So, if you know a lot about jellyfish, you know that they don't have eyes like we do, but if you want, I did include some materials that you can make some little cartoon eyes, because they're just cute like that. 
but that's up to you. So if you want to make it like a real jellyfish, you don't even need to put these on. But if you want to make a little face on it, you can go ahead and do that. So like we've done before, you're going to put these circle stickers on. And then you can use either a glue stick or a little circle of tape to attach these. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my glue stick. And then there's my jellyfish. You can go swimming in the sea. Oh, one last step I forgot is um, put a few staples around the end and that way you can hang it up somewhere. So I'm going to do that. Maybe just three or four around the edge. Here is my finished jellyfish. It's gonna go for a little swim. Hope you have fun, friends. I'll see you next time.